Hi there, this is Isabel Cuprin reporting for Canadian Film Review, and I'm here with two of the stars of Ingrid Veninger's film The Animal Project, Aaron Poole and Jacob Switzer. So let me start off by saying congratulations for being in TIFF. Thank you. Thank sure you very much. very happy. Very um, I wanted to see if you guys are open to doing lightning rounds, since I know you guys seem to like doing that. For sure. And Aaron's got only an hour and a half sleep, so we'll see how interesting this gets. <laughs> All right, I've got okay. flop sweat already. <laughs> so let me let me do let me do a back and forth, and no cheating. You're All right, so we're gonna to go cheat. like one at a time. Like, should you ask him and then ask me a different question? Or different question. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not light. Okay. D yeah. Okay. 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 So those are the rules, apparently. <laughs> okay. Look, and I'm so short down here. <laughs> keeping it interesting. All right. No cheating. Jacob. Mm -hmm. Fearless or cautious? Fearless. Aaron, experimental or scripted? Experimental. Okay, that's what I thought. Jacob, introvert or extrovert? Extrovert. That's what I thought too. Are these questions too easy? Okay. No, these are great. I oh, like good, 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 good. I, I, I didn't realize that lightning round was true or false or multiple choice. It's, it's, it's right up my alley. Am I changing it up? Okay, <laughs> no, okay, okay, good. Yeah. Okay, Aaron, maybe I'll change the order. Aaron, lion or bunny? Lion. I was hoping you'd kind of, because you had that scene, I'm not going to give anything away, but you had a scene with a bunny in the film, I was kind of hoping for bunny. I, I, okay. love, uh, I love bunnies more than lions, but it, lightning round is just whatever comes out of your mouth, man. All right. <laughs> well, do you want to change your answer? Uh, no, I mean, I love, I, I grew to love bunnies through doing this movie, okay. but for whatever reason, false bravado, I'm keeping it a lion. Are you a lion? You're a lion. I'm more of a lion than a bunny. You're trying to be a lion. I'm trying to be a lion, and I'm You're not. Really I'm big just kitten. a bunny. I'm a You're kitten. You're a kitten. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> just wishes he was a lion. I do. You do. I really do. A big softy. Yeah. Okay, Jacob. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to like this one. Okay. One word to describe working with your mom. Interesting. <laughs> Is that the diplomatic answer? No, it's, it's interesting. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> she is an interesting lady. Yes, definitely. Okay. And interesting things come out of uh, every day of shooting, so, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I walked in on your dad showering, your sister sleeping in. I don't know where you were, but I just walked in because the front door was open and I thought it was a day of shooting, but I was at the wrong location. So that, in the third month of making this film, was how comfortable we all were yeah, with each like, other. Hey, Aaron. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm here. <laughs> Ingrid's not. <laughs> well, okay, I'm going to get off topic of these for a second. One of the things that was interesting about the film is that there is that uh, sense of, like, you almost feel like you're in, in a good way sort of uh, in on private moments for you guys. And I know for you there's, I won't give it away, but there's some very private moments. Do you want to just tell me a little bit about that? And how we achieve that intimacy? Or, or how you felt about doing it. I guess, I mean, it, it, the project required a lot of trust. Um, Ingrid really had one image in her head when she started the whole thing, and that was uh, a bunch of people lined up in animal costumes on a snowy field. And that's all we knew. She interviewed 100 actors, we did it down to 8 or 10, and then she asked us a bunch of bunch of questions that we could either, either provide real or uh, fake answers to as long as she believed them. So that, I mean, is all very goofy and possibly pretentious. And, and uh, so, it, you know, here we are spending our time participating in something that seems to have no point, and much like my answer. Um, <laughs> but the, the point is that it required a lot of trust. And because of that trust, I think the intimacy sort of gestated over the three months. Mm -hmm period and a lot of the scenes that um, Jacob and I got to shoot together happened near the end of the project after we had built that kind of relationship and comfort comfortability and Jacob um, you've been in several of your mom's films mm -hmm. do you see sort of a, a common thread either in your characters or in her style between all the films well she does have a, a certain style for sure and uh, I think my character is do change, but at the same time, I'm still myself, so it's always going to be like a young teenage boy, usually going through the problems that young teenage boys do, like 
trying to discover who they are and growing up and all that stuff. So it's similar, but there's always it's always different. What's been the biggest challenge for you in this particular film? In this particular film, uh, there was a few nights where Aaron and I had to stay up really, really late to uh, shoot some scenes. There's an argument scene where we're yelling at each other and we're doing it at like 4 a.m. in my house. My neighbors were like getting mad because they needed to sleep and we're just <laughs> yelling at each other brutally. And that was, it was, that was interesting and fun, but at the same time I was really tired and I just wanted to sleep. But, you had uh, to go to school the next oh, day. Oh yeah, and I had school the next day. So it's just like, there's some hard things, but I think for me that's one of uh, my favorite scenes to watch of myself in, in, in the film. So it's, it's always Why fun. is it your favorite? Well, it's always interesting to watch myself on, on, on screen. I actually do. It's, a lot of actors don't enjoy it, but I actually do like to see. I always like see my own mistakes and stuff, but uh, it's just cool. And, and I never really got to do like a really screaming argument scene, so that was cool. Do you watch your stuff after? I usually have to watch it, um, you know, because of festivals or if I'm involved with producing it, then I have to be in the edit. Um, I like to think I can be objective, but I, I know I can't. Mm -hmm. But you're comfortable with it? It depends on the project. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, I've only seen it once, um, so I'm looking forward to seeing the premiere tonight. Um, my last question, and both of you can sort of answer, or, or either one. Um, when I came out of the theater, I hadn't met Ingrid yet. I had, like, we knew each other kind of through Facebook, but uh, I came out of the theater, and sh I knew that she was around, and she was right there. I came out of the press screening, saw her, introduced myself, and gave her a hug. And I'm just wondering, what do you guys think might elicit, might be the reason that people might react that way to this particular film? I, I think Ingrid's films and Ingrid herself have authentic compassion. It's not playing at the idea of acceptance. We see that acceptance is a theme again and again and again. I think that she truly allows human beings to be who they are.